From the moment Tesla Inc. landed on the scene, it has made quite an impact in the automotive industry, and it has no plans on stopping either. Elon Musk is clearly a man with a vision, and he is someone who is not trying to go with the norm. When one thinks of Elon Musk, innovation is definitely something that comes to mind. Tesla caused a disruption in the industry when the electric cars were released, and with Elon's new weapon, Tesla is continuing to make strides in the industry. This weapon is none other than the Gigapress, and with this machine, Tesla could change the ways cars are made moving forward. Welcome to Posh Future. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Gigapress and how Tesla plans to use it. Please hit the subscribe button and keep watching to find out all the details. Tesla has been making a lot of waves in the automotive industry. Its innovation and expertise in digital technology and electrification has taken the industry into a new age. Based on this, it is no surprise that in 2020, Tesla overtook Toyota as the most valuable car maker in the world. That is an incredible feat for the company. Now, Tesla is planning to take things to a different level. The next generation of Tesla cars will be built using Gigapress. What is Gigapress, you ask? Hold on, we will tell you all about it. Gigapress are a series of aluminium die casting machines. These machines are made by a company in Italy called Idra Group and was introduced by the company in 2018. The name Gigapress was actually coined by the general manager of the Idra Group, Ricardo Ferrario. They produce the largest high-pressure die casting machines in the world. With a clamping force of 55,000 to 61,000 kilonewtons, one can see why. Each machine weighs an astounding 410 to 430 tons. With a measurement of 20 meters by 7.5 meters by 6 meters, they are so large that it will take up to 24 flatbed trucks to transport their components. In 2019, Jerome Gullion, who was president of Tesla Heavy Trucking at the time, had indicated that Tesla was working on a giant machine that will make full-size cars in the way toy cars are made. This was further emphasized by Elon Musk in a tweet in January 2021 that this was the direction that they were taking. In 2020, it was reported that Tesla had acquired two custom giant machines from the Idra Group. This was the custom OL6100 CS Gigapress, and these were used to produce the chassis parts and crash rails as a single component for the Tesla Model Y. Now, with Tesla working on the Cybertruck, Elon Musk mentioned that it will require a Gigapress that is much, much larger than the ones that had already been installed to work on the Model Y. In a video released by Idra, it was mentioned that its first 8,000 ton die casting machine had been ordered by a leading manufacturer of electric cars. While they didn't directly name the company, it is clear that they were referring to Tesla. We are very proud to announce we have been able to secure the first order for an 8,000 ton die casting machine. This order has been placed by a leading global manufacturer for new energy vehicles. This will be used to produce a chassis component for the Cybertruck. Now, how exactly does this work? It's quite a bit to go through, so stick with me closely. The Tesla Gigapress works by melting ingots and aluminum cutoffs in a natural gas melting oven at a temperature of 850 degrees Celsius until they are liquid. Once this is done, slag in the form of aluminum oxide is removed from the surface and the liquid metal is then moved using heated pipes to another enclosed oven, maintaining a temperature of about 750 to 850 degrees Celsius. A tank blanket of nitrogen gas is then used to cover the molten aluminum so as to prevent the formation of oxides. Operators also use argon gas, rotary degasser, and a silicon cabinet filter to remove any further impurities. Then, at the start of every casting cycle, a robot sprays about 35 milliliters of soya bean oil in a thin layer in each half of the mold, so as to enable an easier separation of the casting. 
As the mold is closed, a low vacuum of 50 millibars is created by pumping out the air from inside. Then, a portion of the molten aluminium is transported from the holding oven to the short chamber of the gigapress at a temperature of 750 degrees Celsius. And then, using a high-speed plunger, it is forced into the mold with 8 milliliters of lubricants. After which, the mold is opened and the raw casting is removed at a temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. Once this happens, a robot reaches in and removes the casting and places it in a quenching tank so as to reduce the temperature from 400 degrees Celsius to 75 degrees Celsius. When this is done, a mechanical trim press is used to cut the appropriate edges that are needed and the excess aluminium is recycled back into the melting oven. The useful part of the casting is then x-rayed so as to check the internal structure. Laser is used for trimming and then measured by a computer for accuracy. Did you catch all that? As you can see, this is the process that the Tesla Gigapress uses to produce its casting. Now, there are lots of reasons why this Gigapress is very beneficial. To begin with, the process is simpler and cost efficient. Using the Gigapress for casting reduces the rare underbody cost by 40%. Laurie Harbour, president of Harbour Results, a manufacturing consultancy firm, also noted that the single piece casting can reduce labor costs by 20%. Using the Gigapress can also produce higher quality vehicles because it solves the alignment issues that can occur when several smaller parts of the car are combined. This means that better cars can be made faster and cheaper. I mean, it is a win win all around. Also, due to the fact that the Gigapress works so fast, it can produce a lot of units. According to JP Morgan, assuming the Gigapress uses 4 to 5 minutes to produce one body part, this means it has the capability of producing 70,000 to 90,000 units every year. The specs of the Gigapress from IDRA indicates that it has a cycle time of 80 to 90 seconds, which means about 40 to 50 castings an hour, leading to an output of about a thousand castings per day. That is a large amount, and this means that Tesla can produce over 300,000 Model Y Tesla in a year. With these amazing benefits of the Gigapress, it is clear that Tesla plans to pursue this path very strongly. At this moment, Tesla has installed a Gigapress in its Tesla Fremont factory, and three more have been installed in the Giga factories in Shanghai, Berlin, and Texas. By the end of 2021, Tesla could have at least 10 Gigapress. Tesla is determined to continue to push the boundaries in the automotive industry with these genius ideas and how incredible it is to watch. That's all we have for you today. What do you think about the Gigapress and the plans that Tesla has with them? Please share your comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up and turn on your post notification bell so you will know when we come out with new videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more of our content. Till next time, bye!